Hi everybody, I just want to show you a solution that I found to um, losing my leather in the in the water bucket. It's a perennial problem. It's something that everybody deals with in one way or another. Uh, and I've tried a lot of solutions. Uh, one of the things that I used was this little um, Easter egg and I just popped the corner of the leather into the egg and closed the thing up on it and eventually this will last for about two weeks but eventually it will get full of water because it doesn't close all the way and it would eventually start sinking and it was just a hassle so I, I dispensed with that and I found these bobbers in the fishing section at Walmart and they were three, three of these for just like this. This is the way they come. Three of them for $1.39. Uh, what have I got to lose? So these little gizmos are made of styrofoam. And so it doesn't get uh, waterlogged and probably for years and years. And so I bought the package of three. I, I came on the end of it. It has a little spring the way it hooks onto the uh, fisherman's hook uh, line is that if you pull this spring back, there's a little notch right in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put something behind it. There's a notch in the yellow plastic thing. And so if you put the fishing line in there and then release that spring over it, it hangs onto it. Well, I didn't even see that. I was just thinking, oh, I could use this little styrofoam thing. So I bought it, brought it home. When I discovered the notch, I put my leather in there and I just kind of wedged it down into that notch. But there's a problem with this. I used it for a couple of weeks. Move this out of the way. I used it for a couple of weeks and part of the problem that I had was that this thing hung down too much. I needed to get rid of the space between here and here because when I'm trying to when I'm trying to put this let me get over here when I'm trying to go around the rim of a of a piece that's on the wheel I lose control of this because this is dangling down here so here I am trying to go around the rim and this either hits on something over here or it hits on something over here and I wasn't happy with it. So in an effort to keep the idea of the little floaty thing, that, that was a good part, I discovered accidentally that this yellow part would come out of here. It wasn't glued in or melted in or anything. So it had been all in one piece so I cut this off about an inch and a half this is I think it's about an inch and a half it's it's just just over an inch and a half so here's what I did I put the the point of this yellow thing this plastic spear and I stuffed it into the into the end of there. Now that one is is not going in as far as this one did. I I cut up that one just to make this video. But this one, this one may be the one that it goes in a little further. So and it's kind of like a stopper. So it only sticks up just a little bit, and there's your leather. So when you're using the leather to go around the rim of a pot you've got this in the palm of your hand and you can control that absolutely and there's no chance of it hitting this so that is how I solved it this is it's just so cheap it's not even funny it came, it looks like these things look like this. Let me poke them back together. There's three of them in a package for $1.39. And they're in the fishing tackle and lures. And they look just like this neon yellow green spear 
that goes through a little styrofoam thing. So have fun with that. Let me know how it works out. You can leave your comments and suggestions below. And if you, if you can't find that, this isn't too bad, but it's not a permanent solution. This, this just wasn't working for me. And this is a little big, and that's the smallest one they have. This is a little smaller, and this fits into the palm of my hand a little easier. Okay, well, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.